This is All India Radio, Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. In the wake of COVID-19, we appeal to our listeners not to lower guard, take all precautions, and all those above 45 years of age who have taken the first dose of COVID-19 vaccine to get vaccinated with the second dose at the scheduled time. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask. Maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing. Focus on hand and face hygiene. National helplines are operational for providing COVID-related information and guidance to people. The national helpline number is 011-2397-8046 and 1075. And the helpline for Meghalaya is 108 and 1070. And now, the news in detail. Curfew was clamped in Shillong and mobile internet services temporarily suspended in the wake of widespread protests against the killing of surrendered former Hinutrep National Liberation Council, HNLC General Secretary Cherry Starfield Thankyu, in a police raid on Friday. Internet services in the East Kasi Hills, West Kasi Hills, Southwest Kasi Hills and Ribhoi districts were temporarily shut down for 48 hours since 6 p.m. yesterday. The East Kasi Hills District Administration clamped curfew from 8 p.m. yesterday to 5 a.m. of August 17th or till further orders due to serious breakdown of law and order in parts of Shillong City. Meghalaya's Home Minister Lakhman Rimboi resigned from the ministry last evening to pave way for free and fair investigation into the gunning down of surrendered former HNLC General Secretary Cherry Sterfield Thankyu. He has also proposed, to, uh, proposed a judicial inquiry into the incident. The nation celebrated its 75th Independence Day yesterday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his address said, whether it is Eastern India, Northeast or others, These areas will become a big base for India's development in future. He stressed on the need to bring out the potential of the Northeast and give the region equal opportunities in this developmental journey of the nation. The work of connecting all the cap state capitals of the Northeast with rail service is going to be completed very soon, Mr. Modi said. Independence Day was celebrated across Assam with enthusiasm. Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma hoisted the tricolor at Kanapara in Guwahati. He appealed to Alpha leader Paresh Barwa to return to the mainstream. The Chief Minister stressed that boundary disputes with neighboring states need to be resolved through dialogue. The Assam government will provide jobs to one lakh youth as well as wave off microfinance loans, Mr. Sarma said. In Meghalaya, the main Independence Day function was held at Shillong, where Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma unfurled the tricolor. The Chief Minister, while stating that the COVID-19 positivity rate continues to be high in the state, urged the citizens to take the vaccine. Manipur joined the country on the celebration of the 75th Independence Day, with Chief Minister N. Biren Singh hoisting the national tricolor at Imphal. The celebration was held at, with strict COVID-19 protocols and tree plantation drives were held. Independence Day was celebrated with gaiety and patriotic fervor across Sikkim. Chief Minister P.S. Tamang unfurled the national flag and received the Guard of Honor in Gangtok. He said that eradicating poverty, corruption, illiteracy and superstitions will be a true homage to freedom fighters. In Manipur, 602 persons were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases yesterday. On the other hand, 10 more people expired due to the viral disease. Meanwhile, 573 COVID-19 patients were discharged from health centers after recovery. The number of active cases stand at 6,547. And Nagaland yesterday reported 54 fresh COVID-19 positive cases, 102 recoveries and 4 deaths. The COVID-19 death toll has reached 587. Currently, 1,224 are active cases. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.